the students of class 9 at Hira Public School comes with a comparative study of Himachal Pradesh and Kerala on the basis of electricity and water harvesting. Hydroelectricity in Himachal Pradesh Himachal Pradesh is extremely rich in its hydroelectricity resources. The state has about 25% of the national potential, about 27,436 MW of hydroelectric power can be generated in the state by the construction of various hydroelectric projects on the five perennial river basins. Out of total hydroelectric potential of the state. Himachal Pradesh is an northern Indian state in the Himalayas. It's home to scenic mountain towns and resorts such as Dal Dalhousie, host to the Dalai Lama. Himachal has strong Tibetan presence. This is reflected in its Buddhist temples and monasteries. Himachal Pradesh has good hydro potential and maximum prime sites has been harnessed or under development. The state has invited proposal from local interference for setting up of the ground mounted solar power project with capacities ranging from 215 kW to 500 kW. Wind energy in Himachal Pradesh the Himachal Pradesh government has selected 12 sites for the implementation of wind energy projects. The first wind energy project will be set up at Rangrik village of Lahol Spidi district at a cost of Rs 13.72 crore. The project will be jointly funded by the Himachal Pradesh State Electricity Board Limited and Solar Energy Corporation of India. Soon. Such project will be established at Kulu, Chamba, Kinnaur, Kangra and Shimla districts as well. The National Institute of Wind Energy will help the state government in these projects. There will be installed wind monitoring station so that the potential of wind can be assessed and project could be installed accordingly. Out of the toll site selected, six are located in the tribal areas. Moonrang, Kalpa and Poo have been identified in Kinnaur district. Kaza, Kailong and Lingti at Lahol Spidi district. Chamba has two sites at Brahmaur and Dalhousie. Kullu districts have two sites at Dalash and Chunage. Kangra has one site at Dharmasala and Shimla at Chopal. <laughs> Electricity in Kerala. Electricity was first brought to the state by a British company, the Kannan Devan Hill Produce Company, Muna. The first generation station set Bank of Pedia tributary in 1910. That was a hydroelectric project, and that tributary named Mudiripura continues to be site of large number. Energy in Kerala. An association with the Ministry of New Renewable Energy had conducted a detailed study of wind potential of Kerala and this is estimated to be about 605 MW. Even though Kerala is blessed with such a high wind potential, the state could not harness it fully of its effective utilization. ANERT had prepared a detailed project report for establishing a wind farm of 2 MW capacity. As a demonstration project at Ramal Kalmede in Idikki district, 
and submitted to MNRE for its approval. 32 MW wind energy generators have been installed in Kerala, Idiki Palaka districts with active private participation. Technical approval has been given for another 35 MW and it is expected that the installation would be completed soon. Apart from this, NERT has installed 137 wind water pumps in various parts of Kerala. Wind data collection was done for a total 21 sites of which presently 5 wind monitoring stations are recording wind data. The remaining stations have been closed or shifted after their useful service life. Traditional water harvesting of Himachal Pradesh School, utilizing and distributing glacier runoff summary. The Spidi area of Himachal Pradesh is a cold desert which is snow bound for half of a year. Rainfall is negligible and the soil is dry and lacks of organic matter. Farmers have developed a specific irrigation system using pools to carry water from glaciers to the villages. Traditional water harvesting system in Himachal Pradesh Kul Kuls are a traditional irrigation system in Himachal Pradesh. Surface channel diverting water from natural flowing streams. A typical community kul services 6 to 30 farmers irrigating an area of about 20 hectares. The system consists of a temporary head well across a kut for a storage and diversion of the flowing through a canal to the field. That's all about the kul. Traditional water harvesting Katri Katris are structures about 10 into 12 feet in size and 6 feet deep carved out in the hard rock mountain. The specially trained masons construct them at a cost of rupees 10,000 to 20,000 each. Naula is a surface of water harvesting methods in Uttaranjal. These are small wells or ponds in which water is collected by making a stone wall across a stream. Naula is naturally occurring water. It is a stone liner tank which catches dripping water from springs and streams. Surangas in Kerala. There are two types of surangas. One is dug in the hillock with the help of a galvanized pipes in a horizontal direction from where the water percolates out. Second is horizontally dug tunnel like structures which are as high as the height of a man from where the water percolates out and collects into a water tank. These are the two types of surangas. 